there's just something about Unified that connects everyone together. It's something that people just bond over really easily. Everyone kind of knows everyone in the school now. Regardless of Dominic's ability or diagnosis or anything like that, I don't, no one considers that. It has nothing to do with who he is. He is just truly the nicest person and most caring person I've ever met in my entire life. And Dominic is just really a good friend to me. What are you doing this weekend, Dom? Is it time for another Chocolate Cabana trip? Maybe we can bring Isaac along. But you need to ask my mom. All right. What I feel when I'm with Dominic, I want everyone to feel. Sports brings people together. I get on the court with people I don't even know, and we just click. I couldn't wait until 4 o'clock to see all them. Those guys are like really my friends. Cole, you hit or miss, man. You either can't nobody guard you, or you gonna miss every layup you take. How that work? <laughs> Sir, I'll see y'all in a whole second. These are bonds that can never be broken, you know, because like these are my friends at the end of the day, regardless of, you know, the unified or special Olympics. It's like they, they're my friends, and I can honestly say that. The East is finished. Now we are here for the Central Region Finals for the Play versus Special Olympics Unified Spring 2023 Rocket League uh, coverage here on the channel. I'm Vaudible. We got a couple of robots, Ben and Jose. We just had a insane seven-game series that went all the way to an overtime, five overtimes. I mean, Ben, I know you're probably happy that uh, your state did you proud during that uh, that series there. Absolutely. They did fantastic, but I'm also super proud of the Firebirds, they did great. I was talking with one of the, actually with uh, Brand's father in the oh. uh, Twitch chat. And no, he, they have nothing to be ashamed of. They did fantastic. Great work, great goals, great competition. Jose, are we expecting even more competition here for the Central Region? Uh, yeah, I think for the Central Region, I think we're going to probably take it for a Game 7. It's going to probably be the same thing. As, <laughs> Might as, as well. <laughs> All Game 7s all the way. We talked about it during the break uh, before coming back. Cup, all gas, no breaks. That's what we like to see for these series. Absolutely. And we have some talented young players here. We have on uh, Arizona, the uh, Ironwood Unified. We have two. Actually, we're across the board. We have a freshman, a junior, and a sophomore. Ooh. Uh, against um, Texas's... Looks like we have a sophomore, two juniors, and a senior on the roster there. Um, really excited to see these, these these players. Some coming in new, some some on their way out, graduating soon. It's just um, laying it all on the table. Leaving it all on the table, I should say. <laughs> or on the field as we are getting on to now. A friendship versus Ironwood. Facing off against each other. Friendship, RLC, Unified, and Ironwood Unified against each other here. I believe one from Arizona and one of them from Texas. Yes. I'm not mistaken there. So, yes, nice Ironwood central is from representation. And Friendship is from Texas. Also love uh, Aragon Lopez. Reminds me of the Lord of the Rings movies and another Lopez, AJ wow. Lopez. I wonder if they are siblings as they are going strong on this one for the first goal. Yeah, I I think Ironwood is gonna probably score a lot of goals. Aragon, our aspiring game designer and software developer. Wow. In game design, playing video games competitively. There's a lot of people that get into it that way. And here we go. Getting into it for friendship is the first goal for Lido. Already wasting no time. Less than a minute and we have two goals on the board. I absolutely love the Ecto-1 car. That, <laughs> that, made, that just made me very happy as a nerd. It's great to see all like these different cars. The the one that was made the most during like professional uh, competition back in the day was the Batmobile, like the OG one uh, that they had in like the Dark Knight, I think it was. 
There's a player called Cooksier that uh, used that car all the time and popularized it, but now it's kind of gone by the wayside. There hasn't been many people using the uh, cars apart from like the Dominus, the Fennec, which is more like the boxy one you typically see in the Octane that you see here as well. I've always been quite partial to the DeLorean. Ah, oh, that's a fun one. Jose, I know you like uh, casting Rockley. What's your, your favorite car that you've seen so far? Um, the favorite car that I think so far would have to be um, the Ghostbusters one. But oh yeah, a fun fact: I when I play Rocket League, I do do the um, Dark Knight car. Nice. Yeah, that one's always a fun one to use too. It's always cool to see those different collaborations that go on as well. But Reggie, looking for something themselves on offense for Ironwood. We talked about this series just being all gas, no breaks, and so far it has been Cup with both goals early on and three minutes remaining with still tied one to one. Yeah, just a, a little scrapping, a little scrap in the middle of the field there with the occasional poke out towards goal, but uh, it seems evenly matched so far. Teams still feeling each other out. Boost biscuits are 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 being served. Way into this game too after eating their fill of boost biscuits both team are re-energized to try and close things out for their team looking for any opportunity to get the goals here we got reggie we got the the lopez duo that we see here and aj getting oh. this one for ironwood very quick right, one ironwood. there jose yeah like ironwood Really, really talking really well with each other. The fact that AJ, AJ is our only aspiring a... pro gamer. Sorry. No, go ahead. I'm just saying AJ is an inspiring pro gamer. Ooh. Say, and the fact that he's only a freshman means we could see big things over the years from him. Yeah, absolutely. That crazy work that's been done so far from all these players putting their pedal to the metal and you know putting their aspirations out on the field for game development it's important to know the different mechanics in a game and know how to test them to the utmost capabilities that we've seen so far but also professional gameplay i mean we've been seeing it from both these teams but ironwood with wow. aragon and aj they are the main striking force for this team Ironwood was uh, Play Versus' first national championship team. Oh, wow. They were also recently recognized as being a national unified champion school by Special Olympics. So they've wow. got a lot to prove in this tournament. A lot to prove. And they're doing it in load so far in game at number one. Friendship looking for something. And we talked about what the Firebirds needed in the last series, Jose. What does friendship need now? Um, friendship needs now play a little bit more off. Because they are playing good defense. As you mentioned, the defense has been on lock for this team. They just need to not be afraid of any ghosts, and then they will take on the competition in the world. <laughs> less, no, nothing against their school, but less for more aggression. Let's go, guys. <laughs> uh, I think you can accomplish both, though, especially oh, with the way we've been seeing these teams coordinate yes. so far. In less than 20 seconds, Ironwood looking to close out game number one with the advantage, but... As we saw as evidence from the last series, that's not going to be easy to claim the title of champion. As it goes the other direction, it doesn't go in for that last goal somehow. That, uh, that shrunken goal again. <laughs> that pesky shrunken goal. There we go. Ironwood 3, Friendship 1. Looking out for the next games in this series.
Got to see what Friendship can do to bounce back themselves, Cup. I mean, they've looked solid. They got uh, an early goal for themselves. They just couldn't really do too much against uh, Aragon and AJ, it felt like. They have all the ingredients uh, that they need. Uh, just couldn't just couldn't make it happen that time. I have a feeling they're going to come back and answer right away, though. I don't think the, they don't seem shaken. No, Maybe they've stirred up some game. competition. <laughs> so this could easily go to a game seven. I have a I have a pretty good feeling. Oh, he's calling the game seven. He's calling the game seven. Another right game now. seven. <laughs> yeah. I How think... many overtimes though? That is a good question. I don't four. think we'll have as four many overtimes. overtimes here. Yeah, four. Oh, that, four? Is, that is less, yeah. so that works. I, I might have to <laughs> pick out one of my die and roll a dice to figure that one out. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You could just roll a D eight and then just uh subtract the one. <laughs> Well, here we go into game number two. Ironwood looking for a repeat performance from game number one, trying to see what they can do as well. Friendship. They now are on the back heel. Need to bounce back themselves. An early goal would help that a lot, and they can almost get it. There we go. Okay, no there goal is. by Friendship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Friendship Coast has said that uh, Lido is the rock of the team. Ooh, okay. He's okay. been a part of the, the team for two semesters and is one of the most consistent players that they have ever met. There we go. It's always it's good to have Copeland. someone you can rely on. Copeland. We got a, a birthday girl in on the roster now for Friendship. I believe uh, Friendship are having some of their players sub in and out between these different games. So you'll see some different faces here and there. And that is why with Lido, as we talked about, the more reliable and real only one. Now coming in to see what they could do as well with Team Friendship on the field. Yeah, I think oh, this is... Had a floater. I think substitution's a good way to do it because then um, you get fresh players in all the time and you're always going to have um, new players playing in the um, Rocket League arena. Very true, very true. Important to give everyone a chance here, but also keep everyone fresh and as energized as they can be each game. If something didn't work with one rotation in the previous game, you could change up the rotation for the next one, and hopefully it'll work better that time. And so what's nice about having uh, those bigger rosters, too, is that you can have that as an opportunity. It also gives a chance for different play styles to get thrown out there because if you get used to having a set of three players that you can figure out their play style, oh, suddenly they switch someone new in, how are they going to play? It could change up a lot. That's very true. As we see it go down here yet again. Ironwood looking for their tying goal. Friendship trying to do something. But already at the halfway point of this game and this roster change up for friendships working out well enough for them. Lido got that first goal. They've been doing well on defense and cop. What are we missing from Ironwood? Oh, defense. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, there it is. <laughs> defense. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the birthday girl is a senior. Just put that uh, that goal in. Great that uh, Coach Copeland has given everybody a rotation to get everybody into play on this series. Let's see what Ironwood can do here. Apparently, birthday has also put out an album, so they're a musician. Yeah. So that is wow. very, uh, very impressive. I think if I was to sing it, I might shatter every window in my house. <laughs> so. It's another goal from Friendship. Another goal from they're getting on a roll. They're finding the groove here. Friendship, RLC, Unified are the ones that came from Texas. And uh, nice to see that they are able to have a, a rootin' tootin' good time on offense so far. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, 
man. I'm sorry. See, last time the, the, the Firebirds, like the Phoenix rising from the ashes, that was great. I, I got to mix it up every once in a while. I got to keep people on their toes. <laughs> And everything's bigger in Texas, and so is the offense from what we've seen, you could say, as well. <laughs> it's a little better. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I, I'm workshopping it. <laughs> You're going to have this. If this goes to the game seven, it's going to have it perfected. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Exactly. It, it took till game seven for the last one, so we'll, we'll get there eventually. But I mean, Jose, there we go. Bring yeah. it down Gold for us. Oh, by Ironwood. Ooh. There's still time in this game, so anything can happen. That's true. It's a great goal an animation. Oh yeah, I love it. One twenty on the clock now, and still a chance for Ironwood. But I'm liking the rotations from Friendship here, Ben, because they're keeping like two players back. We talked about before, sending one person up at a time. They know they have the lead, so they don't have to overextend themselves. Exactly. This definitely is, uh, and they also have somebody keep constantly rotating in and out, so it keeps the offense fresh. It keeps um, Ironwood definitely on their toes. There is a score oh, from birthday. He's back. I can only imagine this senior definitely wants to go out with a win under his belt. Oh yeah, on his way out of out the door. Hmm. Absolutely, and I did just notice Iron One does have a car with sunglasses on it. <laughs> there we go. This is the what they we wear came those sunglasses at night. And of course, it's AJ. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be cool, calm, and collected while you're playing some Rocket League out there on the field, and I mean that's what they'll need to be in that next game because with 30 seconds remaining, three goals looming over top of Ironwood and. Them having to be on defense for the majority of this game, it's been uh, a difficult struggle for them specifically because they've looked so good in that last one. I just don't think they were expecting the, the change in the, the play style that we were talking about. And now looking ahead with 10 seconds remaining, they had a chance for a goal, but they missed it, Jose. Yeah, they, they missed it because, of course, um, or they might, oh, wow. I they were going to score a goal right there. It must have been just an inch in front of the line. So close, yet so far. Well, nice to see with the subbing of a birthday girl getting the goal there twice. And then uh, Lito before being that uh, stalwart line, the old reliable for friendship, which is great to see. And it's also great to see that there's a high school called Friendship, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> Ironwood just reminds me of uh, trying to get that kind of set in Animal Crossing when it first came out on the Switch <laughs> a couple years ago and it was so difficult to find all the ingredients and the recipes for that if you ever played any Animal Crossing on the Switch you know what I'm talking about uh, in the Absolutely. chat but regardless we got to talk about this series and build ourselves up into this next game this friendship have tied it up one to one. Ironwood are now trying to see what they can do to bounce back. And Jose, what do they need to do to bounce back? Well, one of the things they need to do is for them to communicate, like we've talked in the previous games that we've seen, um, because communication's the key, the key to bounce back and tie up the games. That's very true. Keep that communication going and do all that they need to get this next game win, get the advantage back in their favor, and go into game three, re-energized against Friendship. Friendship, I believe, again, changing up their rotation a bit, and it wow. worked out well again. Cool. Almost a Kastami. media, too. Yeah. 6 four, eight, three, the newest player on the team. Also a sophomore. I like how Friendship keeps everything fresh. So they're subbing in new players. So so um, with Ironwood, um, they don't know what's going on um, because they keep subbing new players. So everything's new um, to them. Very true. Oh, so they changed it up though with that 
the kickoff, yeah. I have a feeling they're going to be trading victories back and forth. Oh, yeah. A lot this, different this than the last series. <laughs> yeah. More hotly contested, even though we did have a, a Firebird team. It was just a 3-0, but very close, and then all the way almost to reverse sweep just ended at the, the finish line. Now we get to see it just be toe-to-toe, -to -toe, like a tug-of-war between these two teams, it feels like here, Ben. Oh, absolutely. Like, you either are going to have... Oh, like, just a by friendship. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Great great call by friendship. Can't even get a thought out. These guys, these goals are happening so quickly. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Beautiful, Ooh. beautiful oh, coordination from these teams. And the demos yeah. coming out in the midfield. Speaking of those, we haven't seen too many in this goal here, Jose. Wow. I think Birthday Girl said, hey, we got, I got, um, my team has to redeem themselves, so I have to play this fourth goal. <laughs> wow. They got to get themselves a nice, comfortable buffer, so if they do end up making some mistakes, they can, uh, they have a bit of a chance to recover from them. That's true, and we almost see an opportunity here for a finish so close oh! for the save, but it's all for not Cup. Oh, AJ back at it again. This almost looked like an own goal. I just had to see the replay. Oh, it was just barely just missed. Barely. I love it. I love it. I, we, we, at this point, we could see like a 15 to 14 score in this game. <laughs> Pretty much. Now so I need to see been. double digits. <laughs> We're getting all oh, shit! Oh. Almost. <laughs> they almost gave you a chance. Would yeah. <laughs> have been the first time a team had two goals in at least this game specifically, but a two goal advantage that is. They don't want to make it that easy. Ironwood is trying to keep themselves stalwart at best defensively and keep it away from friendship, who have all the power necessary, it feels like, on offense to get this victory. I think we need to start thinking about uh, sport movie directors Ooh. that we know and that we like <laughs> to direct the movie that will be made of these four teams today. <laughs> I wish I knew more about directors. <laughs> Spielberg, get Spielberg on the phone. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of Ron Howard, but that works too. Yeah, that's definitely weird. <laughs> I couldn't think of anybody else. Just sure. imagine a Wes Anderson oh, film. Hey, there we go. Oh, a Wes Anderson <laughs> film. Rocket League by, by Wes Anderson. Excited for that new film that's coming out soon, though. But regardless about the, the Rocket League that is going on in front of us, we only have had two minutes and seven seconds go by, and we've had six goals here, Jose. Are we expecting to get to ten goals total in this game? Um, we're probably gonna probably gonna get to like seven goals total in That's this fair. game, um, because just with the time constraint that we have in the second game right now. Had looked well, up. We're at finally the clock. at the halfway point too. I hadn't looked up at the clock until you said something. Oh. <laughs> I thought we were a lot closer <laughs> to the end. Holy cow! Well, we're closer to a tied game in our first of, like we talked about, potentially four overtimes, depending on how things go. It's approaching that point in time. And we do have the seven goals as well. And for the record, I did roll my D8, and it came out of five. So five minus one, there's your four. Wow, it's fate at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Even without overtimes, though, we've had our fill of goals so far in this series. Oh, it's felt like high-flying games, as close as can be. All the skill and coordination you would like to see as well. Kasadami looking for something, too, but really needs boost more than anything else to get out of the friendship half. And there's a great center, but nobody's there on the follow-up.
Unfortunately, a bit of miscommunication there, I think. Had a perfect setup, but there was no one up there to, uh, to finish it. Oh, so true. There's another opportunity right here. Boom. It's not going to happen. Jose, talk to me about the defense of Ironwood that almost was broken. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ironwood's playing really good defense. Um, they don't want to see another goal score on them. They probably they want, want to, keep to score seven. another goal on, on friendship. That's true. Want to make that OT come to demo. fruition. I feel like birthday's been like the biggest change maker on this friendship roster since they've came in in game number two. They've gotten, well, I think it was like two or three goals in the last one, two already in this one. Doing a lot as the senior representing Friendship High School. It's great to see that uh, they have that experience on the, the blue side of the field here. But 30 seconds, will that experience be enough to push them into the lead as they were down from that first game and looking to hold on here, Cup? Yeah, birthday is definitely sick on the sticks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and the pressure is on Ironwood right now. Communication has obviously been great from them. Uh, they uh, they actually they meet every week. Uh, not just to, not just to practice, but to just socialize and hang out and get to know each other. And I think that has to be incredibly valuable for the teamwork that we're seeing from them here today. And there it goes down to the ground yet again. And friendship, two back to back, need two more to pull off the victory. What we like to call a spaceman sweep. Uh, speaking of spaceman, because he, he coined the term in Rocket League, if you give up a game and then you win the next few, that's a spaceman sweep, essentially. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, Add we that see to that, the I list might have of to, new terms. We see that. I might have to tweet him out about that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. He'll, he'll be proud to know that uh, we, we got to, to witness one of those if Friendship do come out with the victory. But talk about Ironwood here, Jose. I mean, we need a little bit more from them. Who exactly do you want to see pop off in this next game? Um, The exact player I, I would want to see would have to be... There's so many. I know, there's Aragon, there's AJ, we got a dragon on their side too. <laughs> Hard to know exactly who it's going to be. It's a tough one to know as we're only in game number four, but I feel like all three of those players can pop off, Jose. Yeah, anybody can score the next goal um, for um, Ironwood. And any of those three players look really really good to be scoring the next goal in the next few minutes aj looking for something themselves and there it goes friendship with the first goal yet again here ben do it uh can do it like it it's almost like they're not trying Seem fairly effortless with the uh, the grace <laughs> with, the, with which they move around the field. Look at this. I mean, they're floating like touches. butterflies and stinging like beavers on offense. That's what you like to see. You say stinging like beavers? Beavers. Yeah, that's the saying. <laughs> that's the saying. <laughs> Sting like beavers. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> it makes no sense. Sting like beavers, as in Justin Bieber. Yes, <laughs> sing like beavers. <laughs> Fun fact: he's from my hometown. <laughs> you know him? Uh, no, he left before I uh, moved there. But you know, <laughs> still pretty funny. <laughs> Either way, a fun fact would be Ironwood. This is the longest they have gone without a goal as well. Maybe not so fun for themselves, but they want to change that fact. Make it a possibility for them to score. AJ look does go, it. AJ. Wow. Wow. What a, just look at how he runs it up the wall here. A uh, little bounce. Gets in oof. front of it. Great goal. Just passes it to himself. 
pats them on the back after a, a job well done. So the job's not over here. And it goes the other direction again. Ooh, and who wow, else for birthday, birthday Jose? Yeah. We really didn't have a chance to talk about MVPs in the last series, but it probably was ratio. Jose, would you say birthday is shaping up to be the MVP here for friendship? Um, yeah, I think um, birthday is, is shaping up to be a good MVP um, because, of course, as we see that he's carrying the team. Well, three minutes to go. Looking for that third game victory to get one step closer to the Spaceman sweep for team friendship. It's Ironwood are still down but not out. They got the first game. They've looked pretty solid for the most part. But the rotations of the rosters of friendship has just caught them off guard a bit too much. Ooh, great oh, great little touch oh, there. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How is it out? Just the slightest touch there knocked it off course. Wow. Unbelievable to see the goal not go in there, but if you're a fan of Ironwood out of Arizona, you know that they are counting their lucky stars. You know the stars are in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, I, I know I'm usually the one known for cringe, but... Uh... <laughs> Wait, but don't they have cactus in, in Arizona? That they do. They do. Hey, there's a birthday. <laughs> oh, my birthday. What is that? The is that a hat trick for for them? That or it's at yeah. least two goals. <laughs> I wonder if if Shem, uh, friendship wins the um, championship, um, if they're gonna have a birthday cake to celebrate. That would just be perfect <laughs> with some. <laughs> Stars as sprinkles on top. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> or star shaped cake. And everything. Hey, there you go. Yeah. That's true. Ooh. Oh, oh, right there. Oh. Oh. What? Wow. What happened there, Ben? Uh, I think there might have been a bit of a communication breakdown from Ironwood. Somebody probably called, oh, I've got the save, and didn't see um, Kastami uh, come out of nowhere. Less than a minute and 30 now for Ironwood to pull off three goals. It's definitely possible, but with the way Birthday Go Girl has been performing, two goals three shots, two assists, and two saves. An MVP-like performance nonetheless, but everyone on Team Friendship doing the most that they can to try and get the Spaceman sweep. Oh, patience didn't pull off, or didn't come out to fruition for Friendship there. As we saw, they were so close to getting goal number five there, Cup. Yeah, that was a big stop for Ironwood there. Um, I see. Oh, <laughs> There's I another goal from AJ. Um, hopefully that puts a little bit more wind in their sails. They might be starting to get in their own heads a little bit here. You can see they're rushing a little bit more than they were in the previous couple of games. And uh, Friendship is still practicing a lot of patience and, and having more calculated shots on the goal. Less than 40 now. Friendship trying to do what they can to hold on to this lead, but Ironwood, they are knocking at the door and trying to be let in like a vampire that needs permission. Yes. They yes. just need to go for some demos instead. At this point, giving themselves a, uh, a three to two car advantage would definitely, even for the few seconds that it is, could potentially be a big game changer. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, there we go. Off the crossbar. Jose, what happened there? There is no deep by Ironwood. Not just that, though. The crazy mechanics that we got to see from Friendship for that final goal. And I think that was goal number three we alluded to a little bit earlier on. And now it will be Friendship, one away from claiming the title 
as the Central Region Champions for the play versus Spring Unified Competition Special Olympics for Rocket League. But wow, I mean, I'm speechless after that last goal. That was that was great work from those teams. And, and Ben, I mean, Ironwood, they, they've had it in them. They had it in them in the first game. What are we missing from them in these last few? Honestly, I think they have it. Like Cup said, they are getting inside their own head. Unfortunately, when you're behind like this, it it's hard to keep focus, keep going. They just got to remember, hey, we we deserve to be here. We we've earned getting here, so let's let's close it out. Let's start that let's Cinderella see. story. Very true. Let's see if they can start that Cinderella story. Not exactly the same way as the last one because they already have a game in their favor. But they are trying to put the pedal to the metal and maybe put car to other car for a demo, which would be huge for them to take their opponents off the field just a little bit of time for them to get things going well enough for that opening goal. And speaking of, goal another one here for friendship. All three players there, Jose, coming together, using the power of friendship for victory. Yeah, and using the power of friendship and using the power of teamwork for victory because they all follow each other. Less than five minutes now for friendship to hold on to this one goal lead. And they will be crowned the victors, but Ironwood might have something to say about it themselves. Into the corner it goes again. And still more opportunities for Ironwood to now break out in these counterattacks. We haven't seen many of those counterattacks, Cup. We have not. Um, the the goals have all been either on face-offs or just just a breakaway. It's um, it's interesting to see the uh, the difference in play styles between these two teams and uh, the previous two teams that we just saw. Much lower scoring game than we are used to seeing here, Jose. And it's been so close between these two teams. Ironwood, we need something from them offensively, but defense is just given up there again. Oh. Yeah. I mean, yes, it's been a lowering scoring game, but it's been an even. They're both teams are really even with each other. That they are. It's that was Lido. amazing. Mention a cup, amazing shot. Man. <laughs> uh, that's another great goal explosion. That's another way you can customize your cars in this game. There's like goal explosions, engine sounds. You can sound like a lawnmower, which uh, annoys people a little bit. Uh, there are the boost trails. There are the like trails that you have when you're going fast. I forget what those are called because <laughs> I haven't looked at those very often. There's the toppers. There's antennas you can use too. I mean, there's so many different ways to, to customize your car in the game itself but friendship i mean they've, they've customized their roster and it seems like this is the roster they're sticking with for this potential final game it's been working out well for them well, this has been a fantastic playthrough i think they're playing a little bit more defensively not being as openly aggressive due to the fact that they just have to ride the clock at this point there we go Running it down to the halfway point of this game. And the first goal coming out from real goal. only one. Nice to see them get involved too. Well done, well done, well done. Does that mean does everybody on the uh, the friendship team scored a goal at this point? Yeah, it looks oh, like everybody on, on the friendship team scored a goal. That they have in this game and in this series now. Nice to see the way they have been playing. And what a goal there goal. from Lido. Wow. What happened, Jose? <laughs> right off the face-off. That's a pretty nice goal. Demo. Um, crazy. <laughs> Only One is an aspiring software developer and uh, really excels at digital art. Wow. Nice to see. My fellow artists. <laughs> I mean, we've basically seen Art on the field here with the way Friendship has been playing. And a 4-0 lead with two minutes and a little less than 15 seconds remaining. 
pretty much set in stone, but still potential for Ironwood. But Ben, I mean, this is the most dominant game we've seen from Friendship so far. Absolutely. I think at this point, unfortunately, Ironwood might be a little bit flustered. And uh, Friendship is definitely taking advantage of it. Well, time just ticking down. Ironwood, the best thing they could do for themselves, motivation-wise, is to get a goal going. Just got to stay on the field long enough and not get demoed. Avoid those as best as possible. It's not for a lack of trying. Friendship, they have had everything working out well for them, Jose, in this first, in this uh, potential final game. Yeah, I agree. Everything's going well for Friendship. Um, but Ironwood just needs to score at least one goal to keep their momentum going. Um, but right now, I think Friendship's going to take the championship. Little under a minute and a half cup. Do we see more signs of life from Ironwood, or is this... The best that they have been able to put up, and it's been a great showing so far, but they might just be tired out from this long series. Yeah, the uh, little little mis misjudgments uh, that you're seeing there. The, the last attack that they had could have been goal if they had somebody on the other side waiting for the follow-up or just there to follow up, get that rebound. A uh, little missed opportunity there. Just little things like that is what's making the difference here in this series. Well, Stellar's showing nonetheless. And the last 30 seconds ticking down. Friendship trying to see if they can maybe get one for the road. As they, with things as they stand, might be your champions. We almost could have had a potential for a goal, but with less than 15 seconds now and four goals needing to be scored, mathematically it is not possible for Ironwood to bounce back. So Friendship will be your champions for the Central Region. What a victory this has been, Ben. Oh, absolutely. And once again, just like with the Firebirds, Ironwood, you have nothing to be ashamed of. You had a fantastic game. And it was a, it was a great series. But unfortunately, Friendship did have a bit of a... Uh, they wanted it a little bit more. That's true. That's true. But Jose... We did get that Spaceman sweep at the end of the series. It's great to see the way things are going. Also great to, to commentate with both of you. You have been trained very well. Yeah, once again, thank you for having us. Um, and it's great to meet both of you also. Um, yes, and we saw that we got that sweep. Um, friendship, congratulations. Um, but I can't wait for next year to see Ironwood back in the oh, um, yeah. arena. I think you're going to come back stronger and stronger than ever and probably with bigger and better um, teammates and better cars. Very true. Better cars, better coordination, and a better car ball. And uh, it's been a great show so far, Cup. Any final words from you before we send things away and get ready for the, the next game that's on the docket for Play Versus? I just want to say thank you and good, great job to Ben and Jose. It was great uh, casting with you. Um, I'm excited for the next time, and we have more esports action coming at you next with uh, Hearthstone for the first time uh, on the broadcast. So stay tuned awesome. for that. Yeah, stay tuned for that. I believe they're going to have to reset things a little bit and get a delay up just so that they don't spoil any of the decks that are going on for that. So there'll be like a five minute delay going on and then uh, Hearthstone will be going. But thank you, Jose. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Cup. And thank you all the competitors today for tuning in to the regional files for Central and East for Play versus Special Olympics Unified Spring 2023 for Rocket League. I've been Vaudible. Had our lovely casters, our lovely competitors. We'll see you on the next one.